Hello everybody and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 news video. Now this is getting flipping ridiculous as this is the sec this is the third, sorry, the third video I've released all day. And frankly I'm perfectly bored of releasing Train Sim World 2 review videos, but you know, we'll do it anyway, like I say, I said I would, so here I am. It's Friday, we've got screenshots. Today we're going to be having a look at them screenshots, I guess. So, Trends in World 2, authentic detail. Well, we know we know the visuals are alright, so yeah, authentic detail is probably quite probably quite a good explanation. Uh, first picture, naturally, is of the Baker Lou line stock, uh, 70, 1972. I would say that's supposed to be the Wash Road at Stonebridge. Um, I would say it is. Uh, I... It's hard to tell. I don't know if there's any of the walkways in between the uh, the tracks or anything. Uh, the shed, I'm not entirely sure, looks exactly right. Well, and actually, it might go bigger at uh, the back there. Uh, the, the maquette looks good. I've got a picture of a of a real life Baker Lula maquette over there. So if you sort of compare the uh, compare the two side by side, yeah, maybe a bit colourful that in a way, but it is being being sort of. Sh uh, Sean, no, it's it's being lit up by the light. So, but it looks a pretty high res texture. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a nice texture. So, I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Again, there's the. I guess there's a little bit of. I'm starting to see tiny bits of wear and tear detail. Like the uh the barrel, the selector barrel's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. There's a tiny bit of dirt around that bit. Uh, it definitely isn't quite as sort of bashed around as it should be, but you know, you know, let's uh, let's 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 read on. Uh, it's f screenshot Friday. The theme this week is authentic detail, taking the Im taking the immense detail we've we've added to these wonderful locomotives. Not that that's really a locomotive. In fact, the the CSX is the only one that actually has locomotives technically. But you know, whatever. Uh, get up close and personal with some locomotives. Uh, come again. <laughs> Come into Train Sim World 2 and enjoy the high level of detail we've delved into, giving you the most realistic railway simulation experience possible. Well, we shall see. Details such as the controls on the 1972 stock, as you can see from the image above, the cab you will call home uh, has been has been carefully reproduced right down to the fabric of the seats you sit on. Um, to be honest, they basically had to do the seat maquette, didn't they? I think there'd be an outcry if they didn't do the seating maquette, but no. It, uh, it does look very nice, so that that's that's good. It's good. Uh, obviously, we've got a coupler on the ICE, which looks nice. Uh, Dutch ovens on the side. Uh, cup and ball system. Hmm. Yeah, a nom nom train, obviously. Uh, I don't know if this extends automatically or if it's manual. I don't know if you do that. Uh, it could be manual to pull out, or it could be that when you when the flaps fold back, the coupler extends. Maybe I don't know. Uh, they, they missed a D there, so good job. Shut up, messenger. It's not helpful. Yeah, they missed a D. Shouldn't that be ad additional? I don't know. Additional attention has been given to some of the more hidden areas. Shut up. I don't care. Uh, hidden areas of each locomotive or unit. Now they're saying unit. <laughs> the uh, coupler, which you can see above, which is attached to the front of the BR. 406 ICE3M has been beautifully recreated and weathered to look, give it a truly authentic look. Yeah, see, the weathering looks alright on that, to be honest. Shush. Yeah, the weathering looks pretty good on that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this is typical, isn't it? When you start doing a video, I ain't gonna re record this just because of that. Uh, Sandbach's Grade is home to some of the world's largest diesel locomotives. Want to have a look under the hood at the powers of the be be he be Behemoths? Behemoths? Are oh, these behemoths? As far as you can see in the image 38, we've got a, we have really gone into the fine detail of the engine, dials, and warning signs. Uh, we already had all this anyway, so obviously if you've seen video, you would have seen it. Uh, this isn't sort of new in essence, really. This is sort of old, but sort of it's it's, it's one of the best trains we have. It still is. You can prime it and all sorts. So uh, another coupling. Uh, talent 2 often work in tandem, and you see the details uh, from the image above. Uh, and time to time when preparing to change the day commute in the same way you've really in couplers and the warning signs are superb. Uh, is this saying, yeah, time to time when you're preparing and Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, you'll sometimes see the coupler, that's basically what it's saying. Yeah, no, it's, uh, looks good again. Uh, oh, it's all, um, 
all high resolution textures, as you can see. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something to pick their brains on, but once um, what once we actually see the textures, but you know, from here they look they look pretty good. They do look pretty good. Uh, the ice the ice three requires an Im Im immense amount of power to reach such high speeds. It draws the power from the Dedicated pantographs pictured above. As you see from the top of the unit, has a, has much detail, and in some more visible areas. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of sort of cable work going on there, and I'm pretty sure the cables actually connect on the ICEs, which is good. Does it have a pantograph on each coach then? That's interesting. If it does, um, I wonder how it decides which one to use. Maybe it's just sort of if it if if it detects one isn't working, it tries another one or something. There's probably a master pantograph, and then the others. Just pop up if they need to, I would assume. Uh, couplers, again, we've already seen CSX, but the detailing green trains also extend to the stock and surrounding terrain. As you see in the pictures above, sandbags grade, highly detailed knuckle couplers on both locomotive and car just show how much how much has gone into the care of designing both. Like I say, no care has gone into designing anything CSX related for Trains in World, but two, because it was already designed and the care was taken back then. But nonetheless, the point still stands. It looks good. So yeah, uh, yeah, these are pretty pretty nice screenshots. Again, the Bakerloo line. We've got another one. Uh, that's obviously on the depot, uh, um, Stonebridge. So yeah, looks good. Looks good. I don't know about this wall the, or the fence there. If that is the wash road, I don't think it extends quite that far out. Um, or does it? Hang on, maybe it does. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been there. But yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Just literally a really quick one. Um, just to say, yep, there's a new article. Go and read it if you want. I'll link the article in the description. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.